They were ninth last year, so uh, big, big improvement for them here. Their music is Butterflies and Hurricanes. Incidentally, by the same group as the Kurs. It's Muse again. pace. time in the midline step sequence becomes a little predictable easy when you're not changing holds all the time or easier well very well done to them uh, not easy skating in this final group and uh, they've shot up the rankings this year. Remember when you watch this performance you're really comparing it to uh, Anna Capolini and Luca Lanotti because these two are one place ahead of the number two Italians and uh, by two and a half points or so. And that routine was it's like we're seeing something of real strength and then we're seeing something that's got a more traditional quality to it. So part of, although this to some, to Toby, might not sound great, the costume 
that he has doesn't match hers, so it detracts to me from the line of the couple as they're skating together. So that's a part of it here. But also, it seems to me that some of the movements they did there were easier. Staying in the Killian hold on the step sequence, much more difficult to be keeping hold but changing into dance to foxtrot hold as you're moving through the different movements that's how it is and it just was not pushing the boundaries it wasn't capturing me it wasn't capturing a theme for the music that they're trying to put over and it did not have against John and Sinead who skated before them it didn't have the quality did have speed at times well, compare it to the Italians, because we're not comparing it with John and Sinead, really. But because these are in fifth place. Yeah, it's, so, uh, uh, it's is funny. Is this going to be ahead of the Italians? The Italians, not? from tonight, the from today's number. performance, I think the Italians, to me, even more than John and Sinead, reached me, really. Yes. So I would, without question, have the Italians above this routine. Me too. I uh, think it would be a travesty of injustice if it doesn't happen. A travesty of injustice. Injustice. You know what I'm trying yeah. to say. It's the coffee. We'll get you another coffee after. Yes. I know what you're trying to say. Well, wait and see. But... <laughs> and yet again, they're all delivering. They're just delivering in different ways. But it's when somebody can put together something that flies within the rules yeah. that it makes a difference. It's actually interesting. On the night, it's Peshalar Bors out leading, the Curves in second, and Fiala and Scarly in third. But overall, it's the other way around. Fiala, Scarly leading, Curves in second, Peshalar Bors out in third. There's Olivier Schoenfeld out, just eyeing up the opposition in preparation.